G'day guys, Alan Christensen here for the first edition of Locker Talk um, with me. So we'll go speak about Easter, um, see what the boys think. All right, good <laughs> Blake Grewa, debut on Locker Talk, welcome. Thank you, uh, Alan. Uh, we're talking about Easter. Um, obviously it is Easter, so we're going to talk about it. Um, what's your go-to Easter chocolate? Um, I reckon big bag of M&Ms could do that pretty quick, I reckon. Uh, we're talking about Easter, we want some eggs of some sort. We can get M&Ms any time of the year. M&Ms. Alright, you're boring. Talking about Easter, mate. Uh, what's your go-to Easter chocolate? Well, can I just first say, it's my first time on the show this year. And it's a pleasure to be here with you because you're the one that I'd uh, I'd want to be with you out of all the uh, the hosts. I'll be honest. So thanks for that. No, nah, mate. You know that really get, that sets up my year. Oh, so good. yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah. So my f uh, my favourite chocolate. Oh, it has to be lint. I reckon. You know the gold lint bunnies. Oh, the best. You can't go wrong with that. I like the Cadbury chocolate. Um, always used to get the footy, the big footy chocolate from the family. Always got that. But yeah, it's probably go to. Oh, it'd be crunchy chocolate for sure. The old, yeah, crunchy Easter eggs, they're my favourite. Not bad, I like the change up, I like them. Um, who won't be receiving any Easter eggs from the Easter Bunny this year? Hingy. Mitch Hinge. Yeah. Nah, that's fair. Um, poor attitude. Yeah, poor attitude. In the gym, on the training track, and just because he's right there. <laughs> Probably Huey McCluggage, he's just been a bit off the last few weeks. Ever since he's got a game, different person. Honestly, he's changed. I'm not joking. He doesn't give me any time anymore. I think from me, he won't be receiving any from me, would be Witho. Um, living with him at the moment, I don't think he'll be receiving any. I think his mum's coming up this week, so uh, I should really bring a few up for him, but yeah. Bit of a mama's boy, Alex Witherden. Oh, probably Cutler, because um, the Easter Bunny knows he's real strict and doesn't like to have any fun, so yeah, probably Cuts. Uh, no paleo chocolate, is there? Nah, there's no paleo chocolate, so no good for him. Uh, who should keep an eye on their skin folds this Easter? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Dawes sitting right here. He's getting into a bit of food. What are you eating right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dawes. I'm going to say Dawes, yeah. Um, we'll go with Bazarati. Barrett, yeah. I just reckon he, um, I reckon he enjoys it too much and... Um, it's too much of a common theme for him, so I think Easter, just give it a, give it a break, I reckon. And by the way, you've been slandered a bit on, on to, um, this show today um, about this question, so I thought I'd give yourself give yourself a chance to defend yourself. Um, thoughts? Yeah, a bit harsh, I reckon, definitely. I reckon they're trying to stitch me up there, but um, oh, someone to watch their skin folds, oh, I'm going to go Shack Attack, just because, uh, oh, I don't know, just the first thing that popped in my head, to be honest. Who's going to give a few chocolates to Fags this Sunday? Oh, well, yeah, probably Bears. I'll go with uh, Jared Berry. You know, he gave him his last, uh, his first game last week. Probably get given his second game this week. You know, so I reckon um, either him or Huey. Uh, Matho, he's a big suck up. Matho, that's yeah. If I had to choose one bloke, it'd be him. Uh, I think Matho. Yeah, I think he's a he'd be the top pick for this week. I reckon he loves it, Matho. He. Uh, Obviously loves getting on the coach's side, so I'll have to go, I'll have to go with him. <laughs> nah, who's going to give a few chocolates to Fags on Sunday? Maybe rock up at their front doorstep, bit of a Christ uh, Christmas, Easter hamper. Who's that person? Oh, definitely Matho. Yeah, I reckon Matho for sure. So, I don't know, it's just something I reckon he'd easily do. So, that's my, that's my little go-to. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Thanks for coming on, mate. Enjoy Uno. No, I <laughs>